at the end of this video as a bonus, I'm showing you some hamburger treats from Japan. Very similar to the ones this McDonald's food maker makes. <laughs> this is Mike Mozart of the Toy Channel and Jeepers Media on YouTube back again with It's the McDonald's Happy Meal Magic Hamburger Snack Maker from 1993. This amazing and beautiful toy actually churns out little hamburger snacks that are easy for kids to make and they're fun to eat using mostly cookies, frosting, and other items that you find around the house. For ages six and up, no batteries required. This was one of the hottest toys for Christmas 1993, and I have one mint in the box that has never been opened. Now I've unboxed the toy and here are all the pieces. Watch how easy this is to assemble and how easy it is to make the food. First, we snap the backer unit into the base. This comes completely apart and we'll go back in the package too. We put the mixer, which we use to mix the hamburgers, on the back. Now here's the sticker sheet. Let's take off that big McDonald's sticker and apply it to the golden arches. Underneath each arch, we apply one of the menu signs. Here's the menu sign for the other. Now let's put our arches right on top of the toy. And the McDonald's hamburger maker sticker goes directly over the grill. The pretend condiment dispenser slides right on and has two stickers. We use yellow and red cake icing for the pretend mustard and ketchup. That's right, since our hamburgers are more like sweet treats or cupcakes rather than little hamburgers, we use the yellow frosting to take the place of mustard, and we use the red frosting to take the place of the ketchup, and just put the tops back on. If you notice any dog hairs during the course of this video, it's courtesy of Cocoa Puff's sister, Spunky. Every panel of this box says no batteries required, and I've always wondered, how does it make this sizzling sound when you push down the little grill handle? Well, there's a little fin on the back of this handle. When you assemble the toy, it goes through to the back into a wind-up motor. That's right. You wind up the motor, turn it around to the front side again, push down the handle, and you get a sizzle with no batteries. And the set includes this yellow hamburger spatula that stores directly beneath the mixer. And the secret to those incredibly realistic hamburger buns? Vanilla wafers. That's right, they're vanilla wafer cookies, and you store them in the pretend bun warmer. And we use the other drawer to stow away these three stampers that we use later to punch out pickles, cheese, and tomato slices from fruit roll-ups. Believe it or not, this part is called the meat catcher. No kidding. It's one solid piece with little ears that you have to squeeze in order to place it on the bottom of the mixing cup. Now the mixing cup only has one hole in the base and you move the meat catcher over that hole after you're finished mixing up the fake meat. This part has two purposes. This is the measuring cup and the pusher. And now our McDonald's hamburger snack maker is fully assembled. Let's make some treats. First, we need to remove the mixer top from the base and give the clear cup a short turn to the left to where the short line is. That unlocks it so you can remove that cup. There's one ingredient that must be put inside. Peanut butter. Jif peanut butter, the choice of choosy moms in the USA. And it's a brand new jar. You take out a heaping teaspoon of peanut butter and spread it on that bottom mixing fin. Don't get any in the hole. Put it inside the clear mixing cup Put the mixing cup back on, give it a twist to the right to lock it in place. Put that piece back on the base unit. Add one heaping teaspoon of Nesquik. Well, here they call it Nestle Quick. It used to be called Nestle Quick when dinosaurs roamed the earth when I was a child. And we need to use Kellogg's Rice Krispies to help make the fake meat. The next ingredient after the Nesquik is two scoops of Rice Krispies breakfast cereal. The measuring cup is actually the plunger that you're going to use to push down the Rice Krispies against a little grinding plate which will actually grind up those Rice Krispies into a very fine flour. Do you see how they're actually being turned into like a floury dust? You leave it all in there to mix up with the peanut butter and the Nesquik. You add some water and then it becomes like a cake mix. It's almost like a dough. You turn the crank 25 or 30 times and as you do it, you'll see it gets thicker and thicker, almost like brownie mix or brownie dough. And then you know you're ready to make your little pretend hamburger patties. Now it's ready to be put into the meat catcher. No kidding. There's only one hole in the bottom and you move that slide out and the meat catcher actually fills up with this fake hamburger meat. And the resulting burger meat tastes exactly like Reese's peanut butter cups. Mmm. Now take your little meat catcher, which is full of this chocolate breakfast cereal dough, put it on the spatula, make sure it's sort of molded into a ball, put it underneath the hamburger molder and press down hard. Once it's down, pull out the spatula and you leave it on that grill. You let it pretend to cook for a moment. Lift it up and there is your pretend hamburger patty, which really looks totally real. Now our little peanut butter chocolate patty fake hamburger is ready to be put onto one of those vanilla wafers. Now let's add some of that frosting mustard to the top of our little hamburger treat that we just made. And we'll add some ketchup, which is of course frosting, which we put on top. Now our little hamburger snack treat is ready for 
pickles, cheese, and tomatoes, which we make out of fruit roll-ups, which are only available in those colors in this variety pack. This is the only assortment that still has blazing blue slash green and sizzling red slash yellow. We need those particular colors. Now this is what fruit roll-ups are like. You unroll these, you actually peel them off this plastic backing and eat them normally. But we take out our little die-cut stampers, which came included with this set. Thank God they still make the right colors for these fruit roll-ups after 20 years. And you use the green fruit roll-ups to stamp out some pretend pickles for your little McDonald's burger creation. Use the red fruit roll-ups to make a tomato slice to put on top of your little burger. Yum yum. And you use the yellow fruit roll-ups to stamp out squares of pretend cheese for your little pretend burger treat. Mmm, -mm, that looks delicious. And we top it all off with a vanilla wafer top of bun and our little McDonald's burger is complete. Now you can wrap it up in these little pretend wrappers if you wish. It comes with little wrappers and trays to serve them, but we prefer to serve them unwrapped and we made a lot of them. And how do these little snack hamburgers taste? Delicious. Mm. Here, take a bite and tell me what you think. Hello Kitty Pocky, Thomas the Tank Engine Pocky. What are all these little Asian, Japanese, and Chinese treats doing here? There's a small specialty store in Connecticut called A Don Grocery, and they sell every burgers. Every burgers look a lot like the product that this McDonald's Happy Meal meal maker made. You open up the top, and there's this mysterious little label inside. It's kind of cute. I have no idea what it says. And inside are two foil pouches. You rip open these foil pouches along the side, and inside you're going to find about a dozen of these tasty little hamburgers that are very similar. I mean, really similar to what the McDonald's ones turned out. They have cookies for buns. They have um, like chocolate fudge for the burger meat. I don't know what the cheese is, but mm. they are delicious. I Since those little burgers are Japanese, I need to wash them down with some ramen drink. In Japan, they call grape flavor muscat flavor, and they actually associate grape flavor with green rather than purple. These drinks are interesting. You take off this protective seal and you save that little plastic cap at the top. You have to push out that center piece because you're gonna use that to push out a glass bead right there. Right in the center of that blue is a glass marble. You take that piece out, you know, the one there, put on the top, push down hard with your thumb, and you actually press out a glass marble. And that's what was used to seal the drink. And that little marble stays in its protective area and is too large to go back out the opening. Wow, this smells good. It's like grapes and flowers. Ah. It's wonderful and definitely great flavored. And I can really see the little glass ball. Just that one store has at least 50 flavors of ramen soda. I buy way too much at these places. Do you want to see more of this? Store A Dong has about 50 varieties of ramen drink. Most of the flavors I've never even heard of. So it'd be quite an adventure if you'd like me to buy some and test them and tell you what they're like. They have all these other crazy drinks too. Soursop juice, penny wart drink, basil seed drink. Oh, I bought that one. Milk drink, carabao, peach vinegar, grape vinegar, and pineapple vinegar. These are kids' drinks that are amazingly good. And these are little candy ice cream cones. I have no idea what this says. This art is really cute. I wonder what this little bunny is saying. I must try these little ice cream cones. Here they come. How cool is this? Some of the ice cream cones have square bases so look like little traffic cones. The tops are little malted milk balls, and they're crispy inside, and they're full of chocolate. Um. <clears throat> Here, taste a couple. Tell me what you think. Nom, 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 nom. I hope you want me to review Japanese products. I could review these all day. Nom, 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 nom. Please put in the comment section if you'd like to see food reviews of foods from around the world, and please make some recommendations for your country. And don't forget to rate this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, and check out all my other toy reviews on the Toy Channel and Jeepers Media on YouTube. Thanks again.